Why Monolingual Dictionaries Are Worth Your Time, written by Katsumoto, posted sometime prior to July of 2007. A lot of you have posted various quite valid concerns about monolingual dictionaries. Perhaps you're too slow with them, you have to look up words in order to understand the word that you looked up in the first place, etc. To me, all of that only underscores why we need to be using monolingual dictionaries. If you can't understand it, it means you need to work on it. Now, sometimes the best strategy with something you don't understand is to skip over it and pick up some other low-hanging fruit. But this is not entirely the case with monolingual dictionaries. Monodicks? Can I call them that? Monodicks? If it hurts your soul, all that extra dictionary time you are spending, just think of it this way. At its core, a monodic is nothing more than a book. A book written in the language you are wanting to learn. Since presumably you are wanting to learn that language, being able to read books in that language is also something you want and need to do. The fact that the book is entirely in Japanese is reason enough for a Japanese learner to own and be reading it. And guess what else? This book, the monodic, is not like other books. It's self-referential. A self-referential book that contains many, if not most, of the secrets of the language you want to learn. Sounds like magic. Indeed, in a very real sense, it is. Dude, you're getting a monodic.